I'm going to be using uh, IntelliJ and I'm going to open IntelliJ and let's create a new project. So we are simply going to create a new project and test this project to make sure it works. So there is IntelliJ window. We are going to be calling this project Fleet MS version 2. So I'm going to create a new project now. So I'm going to call it Fleet MS version 2 because you already know we already have the first one. So it's in Spring Initializer. I'm going to click on Next and I'm going to say com. Does count on the genius? Counts on the genius. So it's a reverse of the domain name. And it's going to be, so this artifact is now going to be fleet msv2. And every other thing is going to be about default, except that here I'm going to just say um, fleet management system v.2. All right. So this is the setup, and I'm going to just go next. So here you're now going to add, you're going to add Lombok and you're also going to add Spring Web. So Spring Web should be this one, Spring Web. And we're also going to add Time Leaf. Sometimes I forget, but we need to add Time Leaf. And at this point, I'm going to click on Next. And yeah, so it's going to be in Solution Folder, Fleet MS version 2, and I'm going to click Next. The tutorial page can also be found in my website. So maybe I can just open up the tutorial page at this point. So here it opens up and permit me to just open Google as well. So you can actually find the tutorial page of Fleet Management System, Kyneton. Actually, uh, this is version one. So there's a little bit of difference between version one and version two. Um, so you can find it, just use my name and you can see it right here, uh, here. So you can see, um, step one coming from, uh, this complete app step by step, uh, you can find it here, but there's a bit of difference. So let's just follow this tutorial I'm doing right now. So I'm going to drop down here and I'm going to go to my SRC folder, SRC main Java and drop down here. I'm going to just create a new controller file by right clicking and say new Java class. And I'm going to call it application controller. So basically we simply want to test to make sure the installation works. So in this application controller, annotate this with app controller annotation and simply create Okay, so we are going to create a method here uh, that returns the index page. And we are going to also create this page as well. So I'm going to say uh, public string uh, home. So I'm going to say return index. So what is happening here is when you say return index, it's going to look for a page called index.html and then return that page. So it means that you need a page called index.html. Meanwhile, you are going to annotate this without get mapping to slash index, okay? So to create this index page, more like our home page, you are going to go to resources and inside the template folder and simply create a new file there. It's gonna be the HTML file and I'm going to call it exactly the same name index right so it's going to be the same name you are returning and the and the controller i'm going to just say index and here in the home i'm going to now write whatever i want <laughs> let's say h1 and i'm going to say welcome to fleet ms so i'm going to save everything permit me to just stop this so I'm going to save everything and I'm going to click on run and run this application one more time. So actually um, you have to, so I'm going back here and I'm going to uh, refresh this page and it, you can see that it works. It says, welcome to Fleet MS. So our setup worked, we've completed the first part. Let's now move over to the next part. Let's get our template and now set up the template for this application. If you are joining me, uh, for the first time, please subscribe and also uh, remember to like and share this video if it has been informative for you.